Okay, this is a beta test of my new computer with regard to recording and so on. I'm showing you the whole opening sequence of Ryan's bingo because I want him to see how much faster the map is loading, the bingo card map is loading. Now that I'm on my new gaming PC, I could probably give you the specs for that in the description if I remember to do that. I'm playing on 1.8. I'm playing Brian's on Minecraft. I'm playing Brian's 2.4 bingo version and I'm playing seed number 60008. I'm going to be completely relearning how to play Minecraft. For one thing, this new keyboard is not much larger than my laptop keyboard. It's not full size. But it has number keys. And I can use those very effectively for finding things in my hotbar. I've assigned them to each slot on my hotbar, but it's going to take time. Oh, I should tell you I'm on render distance 8. I'm still having rendering issues, but this is 1.8 version, which frankly stinks and is still pretty laggy although I am doing much better even while recording. I didn't get down into the single digits at all while recording although sometimes I could get fairly far below 20 depending on what I was aiming at. I'm having to relearn the entire game. For one thing I use my disability settings to set the left mouse key so that it will stay depressed. The computer keeps it depressed and I don't have to keep my finger on it until I press it again and it toggles off. But the setting is just a little bit off from the way I had it on the laptop and it takes just a little bit longer to kick in. I think it takes up like two seconds. Well, it takes about three blocks, breaking three blocks. Whereas on the laptop it only took one and a half blocks. I could let go with my finger and it would keep mining or macking or whatever. I'm still extremely, extremely slow. Part of that has to do with the fact that I have a really bad mouse. My mouse um, does not respond well to command. It often double or triple places blocks. It doesn't work in well in the inventory. I'm just going to have to get another mouse. Uh, the inventory and crafting areas and so on are difficult for me anyway, even on large GUI, it's difficult for me to see the items that are in my inventory and be able to place them well. And I thought that I was going to have to place things from right to left rather than from left to right so that slot 1 would be what is now slot 10 kind of thing, like put my sword in the 10th slot and so on and so forth, but it turns out that if you shift on things that are in your inventory they'll go up into the big inventory off your hotbar and then when you place them again they'll go from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i can keep the original order but i'm just experimenting with this now this is the first time i've tried to record and play bingo and use a new method of um organizing my inventory and stuff and use my number keys as hotbar keys so this is all very very new so I just decided to dig my way out of the tree. I knew it was going to take time, but it should be enough wood for the game, and if I had to use it, I could use it for charcoal. Also, it gives me a chance, while I'm digging down the tree, the map is loading, and because I'm way up high, I can sort of see around me and see what biome differences there are and so on around me as I'm chopping the tree down. So I think it's worth the time. Plus, like I said, I always make extra crafting tables so I can just plunk them down and not have to take the time to um, pick them back up, to break them and pick them back up. I can't remember what's on the map, and that's a thing I'm going to have to do because my memory is bad, especially when I'm stressed and under pressure like I am here. I need to take a screen capture of the map and put it in a small window beside me while I'm playing so that I can just refer to it without having to um, keep shifting onto the map and seeing what the items are and then not being able to remember them anyway even after looking right at them. I should have left that mushroom as like a halo uh, just a nice neat organized thing to be able to find my spawn if I needed to come back here. 
I'm going to die in this game and I'm not going to subject you to anything past the dying. My policy on this is that videos about just regular bingo, just fill a row or a column or a diagonal. My policy about this is videos should not be more than 20 minutes long or until I have a death. That's when I quit, whether I got a bingo or not. And of course, I'll quit if I get a bingo. I'll be flexible with that. If I've got four out of five items and it runs over 20 minutes, I'm not going to cut the recording off if it looks like I have a chance. But, uh, yeah, I I don't want to have long run-on videos while I'm practicing. It's boring to everybody, and I, I'm not doing this for a speed challenge anyway, and this is my first time out of the shoot using the new computer, and since I made this recording, I've gotten much better. I downloaded the Hermitcraft Season 2 world map. I found a nice place in the desert where I set up camp. Not too far from where other people have been doing stuff, but I wanted my own space. Desert's good for whacking cooties. I wanted, and there's a abandoned mine shaft nearby. It just happens to go right to a stronghold that nobody else discovered, <laughs> or at least nobody else exploited. It's pristine. There's not a block missing, and nobody's placed torches in it or anything. So I want to just kind of like derp around on that hermitcraft map in single player to practice combat against uh, cooties and to practice using my number keys and to get my skills up to par. I've never been able to trust this game. I'm going to hear water here, but I'm going to assume it's that waterfall. A lot of times these bait ores uh, will lead you to something and there is an outcropping of gravel there, which would seem to indicate there might be a cave in there, but it's so high up. I don't hear any indications of a dungeon there's not too much motivation to go up there. I think it might be too high to find iron. I'd rather, if I'm going to cave, I'd rather just dig a hole in the ground and go down. You know, where I can get something decent. And mobs, because this is probably solid stone and stuff. And why dig, you know, when I can be finding stuff. But I did want to get as much of this coal as possible. Unfortunately, I used it all up for torches. And I didn't save any for my um, furnace. So I ended up scrambling to smelt stuff. So I should always remember never to use all the coal, even if it looks like I have a lot of coal. The reason I'm about torches is I see other people play this game without using torches at all. But the reason I'm about torches is also because of my memory. Because at some point I will be able to play after I die. And I will be at spawn and I will probably want to get back to where I died to pick up my items. So if I use torches, I've made myself a good trail from spawn back. That's another reason not to pick up the crafting cable at spawn. So that if I can see there's that gravel outcropping, I didn't even pull it. It's too high up. So that if I'm at spawn, I have a crafting table if I want to knock down a tree and make a little sword or something um, right there at spawn to get back. When I'm good enough, I might even put a little cheaty chest at spawn so that I have some basic tools, nothing fancy. Uh, so that when I do die and come back, I can just grab stuff and run. So like instead of making one sword, I'm going to make my cobble tools and stuff, make two of everything. But right now, I'm just getting used to the mechanics of using the number keys. I'm going to fumble a lot in this video, and I'm not going to apologize for it. I need the practice. I need to have it in my mind that these videos are recorded and going on my channel, whether they're good or not, so that I get over being so self-conscious. Uh, I need to forgive myself for making mistakes and for being slow and for being derpy because the only way you get better is by just doing it. Here I'm going to make a very bad tactical error. Uh, part of this is the responsiveness of my mouse button and part of this is not paying attention. I made too many pickaxes. Now in regular gameplay I would like to have four pickaxes. I would like to have four of everything to start with except swords. Uh, in stone tools so I can wear through them without having to stop and craft again. I do that all the time in single player and even on servers. But for this game, I would rather have just had one pick. You know? No need to go crazy. Oh, by the way, I'm playing this on Halloween night, so you're going to see people with pumpkins on their heads. Not people, but, you know, cooties. Again, if I had a copy of the map with me, this would have been a lot easier. I didn't notice that there was an, uh, a, a painting. I went past some sheep. and I'll go past some sheep in a little while. 
In fact, that's where I'll die. And I won't have gotten any paintings because I didn't remember the map. Here I'm digging down mostly to get stone, hopefully to get some flint. Why not? I'm right here on top of gravel. Because almost always on Brian's maps there's something that requires flint. Either just flint or flint and steel. So I got some flint. And I figure I can use the gravel for uh, pillaring. And if I'm at a place where I'm smelting and I don't have anything else to do, I can always break the gravel for flint if I think I need it. So this is the first trial run of doing bingo. I won't make you go through excruciatingly long videos of 30 minutes unless I'm doing a blackout of the entire map like other people do. I won't be doing that. I won't put you through a lot of torture for these. This again is about me learning how to play the game all over again. On poor little crap top and with my bad internet, my internet's much better now, um, I could not trust the game to do what I was told it was supposed to do. Uh, there was lots of lag, uh, monsters would just freeze in mid-leap, and I wouldn't know where they were to hit them. They would be in front of me and then they'd magically be behind me because I skipped so many frames that I didn't even get to see which direction they went. So I can't, couldn't even aim at them to hit them. I even have trouble with stuff standing still like punching trees or mining blocks because the lag was so bad that I didn't know if I had actually mined a block or not. Both on single player and on servers. Servers are notorious for this but on single player I shouldn't be experiencing this stuff. I gave up on that because it was going down low. I did get the cobble I needed, but it was going down low with no sound, no indication of a cave, no bait ores, no no reason to go down there. There's plenty of places where I can dig. I don't have to dig there. So I'm very much looking forward to improving my skills by doing lots and lots of practice because I fully intend to play UHC, and I think that starting out with Minecraft Bingo and improving my skills and being quicker and having good body memory uh, it's already happening so my fingers know there we go again so my fingers know which keys to press to get my sword or switch over to my pickaxe or my shovel or whatever without scrolling I need a new mouse my scroll wheel is just about shot I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and there's only so much you can do the contacts are worn out um, I also can't trust either my right or left mouse buttons to do what I tell them to when I tell them to do it. They either will or they won't. It's one of those things. I may not have very much finger pressure. I'm seeing some issues on this keyboard too that when I type, like the space bar, uh, there's no spaces between words. And I can't adjust it within the computer. Uh, it's just a little cheap plastic keyboard on a USB port, but I'm going to use it. I have a cordless keyboard. I think I'd rather it, I'd rather use that. It's full size, and but for right now I'm just practicing with this. I have a cordless mouse because I still have to lie in bed with the keyboard on my lap. There's just no room in here to put a little table like a desk for playing Minecraft. I have a chair next to the bed and I'm sitting in it right now to record this. But for playing the game, it's best that I do it lying down in bed, propped up in bed, obviously. Um, and with as few wires connected to me as possible. So I'll see about getting my cordless keyboard out, and I may have a better cordless mouse that's compatible with the keyboard. I'll just goof around and see what I can do with what I've got. So this is my first attempt on the new computer. The new computer is much more responsive. It's got a ton of memory. I accidentally had three versions of Minecraft open once the other day. Again, a mouse issue. Get under anything in the water and kill it, and then the drops will come to you. So I accidentally had three versions of Minecraft open, and I was recording on one of them. And I was rather concerned, why am I getting only 8 frames per second? Which is about average for recording on my old crap top. But why am I getting so low frames? And then I realized that I was able to get 8 frames. I mean, with mobs around and stuff. It was a busy section. It wasn't just empty. While I had several versions open, get out of the sugar cane when you're trying to place a torch. 
the game thought I was still in the block. It didn't look like I, could, I couldn't see the hot the um, wireframe, but the game thought I was inside the sugar cane and wouldn't let me place a torch. Here's my first encounter with a Halloween cootie. Very clever and cute. I don't remember what it was I was searching for while I was going this way. Uh, I may have been wanting that desert for cactus. Without knowing whether I needed cactus. Still having trouble seeing where I'm going. That's just going to take more work and practice. One thing is, I can actually record full screen gameplay. I don't get great frame rate. I get decent frame rate. It's not disabling or anything. But I can actually record on full screen. I've never been able to do that. And the little window on my computer is only about five inches across. And being vision impaired, that's a problem. I didn't back up. I didn't back up. Why? I suspect there might be a dungeon here where those zombies sprouted, but I said, say ya, and kept moving. So my hope is that by playing this and recording, I will get over my body memory issues and be able to uh, more quickly, like right here, I, I had to hesitate to figure out where the shovel was. I now know that the shovel is on number five, the axe is on number four, the pick is on, on number three, the bow and arrow is on number two, and the sword is on number one. And I keep my torches or jack-o'-lanterns on ten. That's that thing where critters fall through the ground. Didn't realize my inventory was full and I wasn't picking stuff up. So, and I didn't see that skeleton in the water pool. I knew it was shooting at me. I just accidentally picked up the axe instead of the pork chop. And it watched my health go down. And at this point, I'm, um not paying attention to my food bar. I don't even know if I have... Yeah, I have, still have some um, mushrooms too. I could have waited a minute. I could have refilled my hunger. Instead, I came down here to get rid of this guy because I was so invested in picking up those pork chops. So my priorities were off. Especially since I heard that baby zombie. That could have been it, you know? Always keep your eye on the cursor, not on the mob. Is your cursor over the mob? Then strike. If your cursor's not over the mob, aim. Don't concentrate on the mob. You'll lose track of where the center of the screen is. That's my experience. So yeah, I'm starting to get my piggies together. But look at my health. And look at my hunger. And I've got mushrooms too in my, my inventory. Not in my hot bar. No food in the hot bar. This is wrong. One of the problems with the hot bar with this is the map. The map takes up the space where I would normally put blocks and or food and or... I'm having a hard time adjusting to where to put the map. I'll figure it out. I've got one extra space. Slot 10, 9, 8 maybe. The 8's where I put my food. 7. Right there where it is right now is a good spot for it. But that's usually where I put my blocks. So... I'll figure out how to deal with the map thing eventually, but it is a pain in the behind because there's not enough hot bar space. And this, I saw it coming. I saw the zombie coming. Now after I died, I came back and I got my stuff. I followed my torches. But I didn't last much longer after that. I went down in a really nice cave with an abandoned mine shaft and everything. But by the time I got to it, there were already too many mobs in it. At which point I thought, this video is going to get too long. And so, I abandoned the whole thing. Here it comes. Here it comes. I see it. I hear it. And I just keep screwing with my inventory. Nope. So that's Minecraft Bingo. We're going to get there. Thank you for watching. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend.